Hazel with Hazel here. How are you going? I'm good, thanks. That's good to hear. So I just wanted to see how your opinion on the treatment that's been going through here from either the public or other campaigners. Look, generally it's been pretty congenial. Yep. Um, you know, I've made it a point to really work well with the Yes campaigners. We're all here for a long time. We're yep. Australians. We all want the best for Australia. We yep. just have different ideas about how to achieve it. Yep. Um, there's only one incident that was really, really distressing. Um, but I think it was Thursday, just before 4.30, I was handing out. Yep. And a very well-known campaigner for the Yes yep. has come out and endorsed and supported the press. Yep. Came here to vote. Yep. He was carrying his child and with his presumed wife or partner. Yep. And as he came past me, he said to me, get out of my way, you racist. Now, the only thing I did to provoke him was I've got a white skin and I was wearing a white t-shirt. Yep. He's got well over six foot. Um, he went into the booth to vote. I waited for him to come out. Yep. When he came out, I said to him, because I knew exactly who he was, I said to him, surely you are better than this, because I know situations that he has been in. Yep. Um, and his response to me was, you have come to my land, you have stolen my land, and I had been having a very congenial afternoon with a lovely young Yes campaigner next to me, and he turned to him and said, I am so sorry for you that you have to stand next to her, and stormed off. Now, there were a number of people around yeah. who heard this, who all knew exactly who he was, and who were all absolutely shocked, because yeah. he is used he is seen as a role model and a hero, and he is someone who has been endorsing the voice. And all I can say is Australia, if that's what we're voting for, please watch out. Great. Awesome. Well, I'm sorry that happened because, I mean, we are getting labelled as racist, but most of the people that we're listening to are First Nations people. So how can we be racist if we're trying to work with them? I interviewed the elders that came down here who were very supportive of you guys Absolutely. and your efforts for being out here, they were very thankful. And it's sad because, I mean, you don't seem racist to me. You seem lovely. You seem lovely to talk to. I 